To me, Nikki, I am so sorry I did not do a Chai Tuesday or even a Catch Up Wednesday. I just, oh my god. Just been things going on in my head like 50 miles an hour. First things first. I got a couple movie reviews. No, they're not going to be the best, best reviews. I know she ain't. Blah. <laughs> anyway. The first one, actually, well, I watched the first one last night. Anyway, the first one I pulled up on my phone is called The Quiet Ones. Now, this movie was released, was it this year? Let's see here. Yeah, it was released last year. It's a supernatural horror film directed by John Pogue. Pogue? Pogue? I just butchered that name so bad. Anyway, it's about this. <clears throat> supposedly, it's based on a true story. Uh, it's about a student. Well, this is what it says on my phone, so to hear. Uh, a student attends class of college professor. Poor. I cannot talk tonight. My God, I am so sorry. College professor. <sighs> Profession blah, blah 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 college professor there we go Copeland who wishes to prove that the supernatural does exist he shows a video and basically this took place in 1974 three or four sorry four and this guy just he has his idea of that um See, he shows a video of a possessed boy and explains that research, research will be done to find a cure for this kind of disease. Basically an exorcism. But this guy doesn't believe in that. He believes in science. Okay, so basically he's like, okay, possession doesn't exist, ghosts don't exist. Um, it's all in your head. So he, with him... And one of his students, let's see here, my hand is shaking, let's see, and his two assistants, Professor Copeland, his two assistants, Chrissy and Harry, and Brian McNeil, the student, and the subject, Jane Har Harper, a young woman who generates strange fair Paranormal, paranormal. Oh my God, phenomenon! Spit it out, Manti. Good Lord. Basically, it's really good. In my like, this is my all my own opinion. So, kind of. There's parts in there where it kind of creeps you out. And it's like, no, it, you know, it makes sense in the way of that. It, by the end of the movie, it all comes together, and you're like putting the puzzle puzzle pieces together and. So, yeah, that's on Netflix. I checked that out. I liked it. So, if you want, to go check it out. Like I said, it's based on a true story. But we all know how based on a true story is. And based on how true events work. So, anyway. Um, the movie stars Jared Harris, Sam Clifkin, Clifkin Olivia Cook, and Aaron Richards. You know, for what it is, it's I liked it. And then the other movie that was a big name movie that was brought out by who who did that? Let's see who released it. It was released in twenty fourteen, but let's see here. Uh, screenplay. Uh, it's distributed by Lionsgate, so. We'll go with that. Um, and the next one is called... What's the next one called? I forget. That was... There's part of that one that just kind of irked me. Um, upper front, I think it is. Uh, let's see.
Jo. Så är det. Okay, it's called the upper. No, yeah. The upper footage. Is that what it's called? Also known as upper synopsis. Uh, film is said to be 90 minutes. Edited version of 393 minutes of recovered footage documenting the death and subsequent cover up of a young woman by. A group of NYC socialites. The film is set up in a documentary format. All media events around the project before and after the showcased footage. Basically, how can I explain this? It's, I guess, supposedly, um, so the movie, Unfriended, the one that just came out. This came out this year, I think this one did. Let's see. Um, oh, came out January 31st, 2013. Huh. Okay. So, anyway, uh, <clears throat> there's like two or three characters in here that I just could not stand. And there was like three of them that I could just deal with and handle. But there was one main one. He was just such a juice bag. <clears throat> and I I can't remember if this was based on real events as well. So, um, let's see here. Oh, huh, doesn't have any of the people people who need people. Um, references. Okay, the. The upper footage, upper, is available on Vimeo, V-I-M-E-O, on demand. And you can uh, find them on Facebook, if I can find the thing, the website. Um, I don't, and they're all, I don't, it's a good movie. It's definitely eye-opening. At first, I didn't think I liked it just because there's like, like I said, three of the characters, two or three of the characters, one character in particular really ticked me off. Just I don't know why, but I think it's just his attitude just ticked me off the most. So anyway, that's worth checking out. It's an indie film, and it's let's see here. The story behind it is pretty. Uh, it's good, and then you know it goes from there. And I let's see here, the creator, um, in the cast. I think it was Justin Cole that Justin Cole reached out to me on Twitter and he DM'd me. He's like, "Hey, check this out." I'm like, "Okay, you know." So I checked the trailer. I'm like, "Well, I haven't seen him friend yet." Who knows? So anyway, I checked it out last night, and like I said, it's not bad for what it is. It it's kind of like alpha dogish in a way, kind of. Well, only I don't think it's based on a true story. I don't know. Anyway, go check it out. It's called the Upper Footage or the Upper. And if I remember, I'll find them on Facebook and I'll put the links below. Also. Oh my god. <coughs> I'm such a bad girl. I got my quest bar today. And I got my quest powers like a couple days ago. Those are gone. I got the peanut butter and then I got the chocolate. And I made my peanut butter milkshake with almond, vanilla almond milk and uh, ice. Oh my god. And then I made one for my boyfriend. I made the chocolate one for him. I mixed a little bit of the chocolate in with my peanut butter. Oh, so good. And then, I should have waited and did it here. But I want it. And, honestly, basically, I wasn't hungry. It was great. I loved it. Worth buying. Check them out. And then, let's see here. I got, today, I finally got them. 
it I got chocolate chip cookie dough, which is so good. Sorry, that's my phone. Um, and then this is the peanut butter supreme. I'm I don't think I've tried this. If I have, I don't remember that. I'm not really hungry right now, so because I just ate a bomb dinner. So anyway, um, what else? Oh, I've. I've been looking for, this is one of the books I've been looking for for a while. And it's called Annie Freeman's um, Fabulous Traveling Funeral by Chris Radish. Awesome. Uh, basically, let's see here. It's for a woman. Um, or actually, let's see here. Uh, Catherine and it's about five women. Uh, it all begins with package. Basically, it's like travel and funeral, and they all discover these different things about the friend that they didn't, you know, they thought they knew. But anyway, I liked it. So I found it. I was in my thrift store and I found it. I'm like, a buck. I'm like, yes. So I was all hyper on that. So anyway, and also, if I can do it, um,. Got other things in the works. Yeah. Um. Let's see. I should be getting my engagement ring. I think Wednesday sometime. So I'll show you that. Also, I've been reaching out to different companies, and so yeah. Yeah, like I said, I am so very sorry. I'm not vlogged or anything it's just I'm like the worst blogger all I have is like my webcam my phone which honestly it's not bad I like it hi Elias and I got my other one excuse me my other one which because I don't know how hot I can't see myself unless I put it in a mirror or do a vlog section so that's pain that took us and then I got a uh, Janice, old Janice Joplin um, poster from a garage sale. Oh, Elias. And I also got a uh, Rolling Stones from the same garage sale. And we got like two end tables and a bike. We each got a bike. Oh, this week. And don't you dare. I know what you're doing, boy. Don't do it. Don't do it. Anyway, that was a fun day. Actually, that was because I ended up getting eyebrow stencils. So hopefully I can, hopefully I can get them on fleek, whatever that is. Anyway, enough of the rambling. It's finally beautiful. The snow's finally, finally beginning to go away. Thank God. Ugh. Just, and then uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's just been a day. It hasn't been a bad day though. Been a good one. So anyway, um again, I am so sorry. <laughs> I just I don't know. I've, my head's been in like a thousand different places. Uh yeah. So if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, all my social medias should be down below. Or up here or wherever I put it, because I don't remember. Um, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Google+, Plus, Snapchat, and always YouTube. Um, let's see here. If you guys want me to do more of these, like a Chatty Tuesdays and or Chatty Wednesdays or whatever, give me a big thumbs up. Thumbs up. Lots of love. B. B. <gasps> that was bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> You know what I mean? Oh my god. i just been all over lately. I bloomed the hair. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see here. It's getting off topic. Huh. Anyway, um, yeah. You ever do that? Just, you start talking to someone that you've been friends with forever and you go have a certain, um, thing you want to talk about and then you're like, oh, look at that. Or, you know. Mm. That's me. Here we go with the odds. Oh. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Um, if you want, subscribe. 
be part of the Grumpy Pugamo. Come here. Ooh, extreme close up. <laughs> of course, I would be kind of bitchy. Grumpy Pugamo crew. Hi, Max. Sorry about the extreme close ups. Grumpy Pugamo. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching, and I'm very sorry about the extreme close ups. <laughs> um, yeah. Cheers, subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye.